So, here I have two Smart Industries Generation 6 candy crane boards. I believe that the only difference between this and the standard board is uh, the standard board would not have the candy crane chips, but I don't know. I don't have a Generation 6 standard crane around. So, the problem that I had with both of these when I got them is that, uh, oh, there goes the air conditioning. Um, when I got it, one of these would not save the settings, and the other one would. After a little while, neither of them would. So, my first thought is, there has to be something to do with the battery, and that battery has died. Contains lithium cell. That looks like our culprit. Um, so I replaced this specific, uh, I believe it's called SRAM. I replaced it in both of these boards. And it got one of them to the point where it would save settings. Unfortunately, this particular board here still will not and this is the one that actually would save the settings when I first got it. So what I've done so far is I've put both of the RAM chips into this working board just to confirm that I don't have an issue with uh, the RAM and the next thing I'm going to do is going to be to swap over the ROM chips in this board, the working board, over to the one that is not working properly because this is an older revision maybe in the older revision the, uh, the ROM chip did something that prevented the RAM from saving, I don't know. Uh, but I'm going to do that and pop it in the crane and see what we get. Alright, I've got the ROMs from the fully working board into the board that was not saving data before. I'm going to hook this up in the crane and see if we get a better result. Okay, I've got the camera zoomed in on the display. This was giving a uh, 0178 error code, and I believe that is a RAM error code. So now I've got the new ROM swapped in. Let's see uh, if we get that error code or just a fire. Interesting, we got a uh, 0102 error code. Maybe that means nothing. I'm going to go ahead and change the settings. And uh, by doing that and restarting the machine, I can tell if it's uh, saving the data. So now I'm going to set the timer to 15 seconds. That should save it. Okay, so we are at 15 seconds. I can play the crane and Everything seems to work on it. Now I'm going to reset it, see if we still have uh, 15 seconds as our timer default. Oh my gosh! I'm pretty sure I don't want the machine to be so strong that it moves itself across the floor. Um, that's probably not a good thing. So what I'm doing now is I'm going into the settings and I'm turning down the, uh, the motor strength. That way it won't be banging around and moving the machine like it is. This is uh, that's a lot less violent. Okay, so that uh, those ROM chips I had were preventing the RAM from working. That's that's interesting. Okay, so th these are uh, the chips that I put into the board that was not saving data, and now it does save data. And here I have the chips that I removed um, that would not allow me to save the data. Now I'm not sure if it was uh, this smaller one on top or either of these other ones. And honestly, I don't feel like taking everything out of the crane again to find out. Well, now I feel pretty stupid. I just tried the game with uh, just this one chip, and it turns out this is the programming information for the game. And these other two chips, they're just, uh, they're just sound effects. So I'm going to have a friend of mine duplicate this one. That way I've got two of them that work with the RAM. And then I'll have two working machines. And there's the part number for anyone who wants to uh, order one of these themselves. All right, I've got my... Uh 
copied ROM installed, and I'm going to throw this in the machine and see if it works. Let's uh, turn it on and see what happens. So now what I'm going to do is change the time limit from 15 seconds to 10 seconds. That way, uh, pretty much right after I turn on the machine, I'll know if it's saving new settings or not. Functioning crane now. Thought I'd take a uh, pretentious, imposing shot of this crane. I'd say that this repair has gone pretty well, considering this has gone from something that was uh, too loud and violent to be suitable for a location to something that, uh, could make me a whole bunch of money. I'm going to see about putting a, a download link for the ROM in the description. And uh, if this video helped you out, don't subscribe or any of that stuff. I can't stand when uh, people say that. So don't subscribe. In fact, um, give me a thumbs down because that's, that's good for making a man of you. Bye.